we're gonna go ahead, go back into Pro Tools, make another new instrument track. All right, so got our third instrument track. We want to do the same thing. Just go up here, insert Reason on there. It's gonna come up one and two again. So you just want to go to your next available, which is five and six. Go back in the Reason. Make yourself a new module. Went into the MPC. Made a new MIDI track. Set it to channel 3. So you're going to go up here to your MIDI channel 3. And select your third module. Make sure it's on the end. Alright. So you want to tab to the back of the rack now. And you're going to set your third output. Your third module output to 5 and 6. Left is always the odd number, right is always even. Left five, right six. Alright, so we'll tab back to the front. And uh, now you should be able to hear your next patch on your instrument track. Alright, now with the bass sounds, some of the modules in Reason, like the Subtractor, got mono basses. So if you're using a mono bass, obviously you're going to make a mono instrument track. And you would set the Reason rewire to a mono channel. Which, in this case, it would be just five. And on the back of here, you would just do the one output. And that's it. So this would be 5. And if this was mono, you'd set this to 5. But this bass is stereo, so we're going to use 5, 6. Alright. So you could go ahead, record your third sound. And the MPC. Same thing. Make another new instrument track for your next module. And you want to insert reason again. Now the quick way to do this, a little shortcut, so you don't have to go through you know all the plugins to get here. You can copy any one of these plugin any one of these inserts over to your new channel, to your new track. To do that, all you do is you simply hold down the alt key on your keyboard or I think is on Mac is option you just hold down alt and then you just click here and you just drag it right on over to there and it'll make a copy simple just hold alt click here and drag it but I'm holding the camera so I only got one hand so I'm gonna do it the regular way and again it's gonna come up left and right so you wanna pick your next available which is seven and eight and you're going to go back into the MPC, make another MIDI track, set it to MIDI channel 4. Alright. Come back up into Reason. Make your new module. I went with another NNXT. So you're going to, um, after you create your module, you're going to set the MIDI input to your fourth module. So on here is NNXT2 or whatever you create and then you want to make sure it's on N. Alright, go back to the back of the rack. Same procedure. Make sure your main output on your fourth module is on 7 and 8 of the rewire module. Just click and drag. Boom. Now, that sound on your fourth module. Alright, so I'll go ahead and record that one. Boom. Simple. It's not that hard, right? 
Now, for my next track, I went, I started building on the drums. So that's where that first audio track comes in that you played, that you uh, created. This is going to let your drum sounds come through Pro Tools at the same time as your Reason sounds come through. It's that simple. You know what I mean? So now you got your NPC sounds playing, you got your reason sounds playing, and you can just bang out. But this I still felt it wasn't done yet, so I wanted to come back and wanted to add some more um some more reason sounds. So I'm gonna just go here, make another new uh instrument track. Do the same thing, go ahead and insert reason on there. Go to your next available input, which is going to be 9 and 10. Simple. Go back into your NPC. Make your new MIDI track. Set it to whatever MIDI channel you want. For me, to, to keep track of everything, keep it organized, I like to set the MIDI channel to the same number track that I'm that I'm playing on so this particular next instrument is on um, track 12 in the MPC so I set the MIDI channel to MIDI channel 12 and then you just go up in reason and you're gonna do the same thing even though I got it on channel 12 I got all these still open don't make it it don't mean nothing you can still use whatever whatever one you want. So you're gonna go ahead, make you a new module. Alright. So you're gonna set your MIDI channel to the new module. In this case, I went with 12. So you're just gonna go down to your fifth module, select the end. Go ahead and tab to the back. Set the output of your module to 9 and 10. Same thing. Simple. Pretty much the same process over and over for every sound. It's not hard at all. And you gotta go ahead and select your sound again. Pick your new sound. I went with a nice little harp. Alright. And that's it. Still felt it needed one more, so I went with a new my a new uh instrument track. Same thing. Insert reason. Put the input as 11 and 12. We're on 11 and 12 now. Alright. Go ahead and close that. Make your new MIDI track on your MPC. In this case, I'm on track 13, so I set my MIDI channel to 13. Went in here and reason. Made a new module. Alright, got my new module. I used the Thor this time. Set channel 13. It says NNXT though, because I use an NNXT patch on the Thor, so. But it's a Thor. And you're gonna tap back to your rack. Set your outputs to 11 and 12. Alright, tap back. And this time I went with a little, this beat sounded like some, some old, you know, West Coast stuff, so I went with a little West Coast sound. Alright. 